Hey, what's going on, Emily? Is Jack home? Jack left me to go off on one of his little adventures and left me here, bored and alone. Can you do me a favor and tell my brother to give me a call when he gets back from his adventure? I'll let him know you called. Cool. I made empanadas for you if you want to come get some. All right, we'll talk soon. <laughs> All right, everyone. So in this video, I'm going to use Kling AI to make a short video to tell a story about an Indiana Jones type of character named Jack Calder who gets rudely interrupted by his wife before he finds the Eclipse Stone. So we're going to be using Kling's text-to-image tool. Then we're going to use the image-to-video tool. And then we're going to use the amazing new lip-sync tool. So the first thing I want to do is walk you through the process of how I created the opening dialogue in this video between me and Emily, Jack's wife. Then you're going to watch me create in real time a video of Jack's little adventure and the lip synced conversation between Jack and his wife. So stick around to the end to see the final results. And I'm also going to be revealing a video creation tool that you may want to have in your creation toolbox. So let's talk about the big elephant in the room. So yes, I use ChatGPT to help me brainstorm and create this story and you can do the same thing. I came up with the initial idea and asked ChatGPT to expand on it and create a story. Then I asked ChatGPT to break each part into scenes that can be used as prompts for the AI generator, in this case, Kling. So now that I have the prompts, I will be using Kling to create the images. And this is gonna help me keep the consistent character and it's going to bring the image to life as videos. And you'll see there's an option to bring it to life. All right. So let's get this party started. As you can see, I grabbed the prompt from ChatGPT and I popped it into Kling AI. It generated four images for us. And I want to choose the best one to use as a reference for Jack Calder. So I'm looking for a character in his uh, early to mid 30s, like good facial details. Um, this one looks really good. So I'll probably use that one. All right, so let's, uh, let's see. Yeah, yep, we're gonna use this guy. And we are going to bring that photo to life. If you saw right there, I just pressed on bring to life and it'll bring us to a new screen, which is the image to video screen. And uh, there are other prompts we can use for this. Now I don't have to enter the prompt again because I already have the image, right? The prompt is the image. Uh, and as you can see, the prompt that I'm using is the camera rotates around the subject. And you could experiment with this and try different prompts. And you can create your own presets as well. Um, and this is costing me 35 credits. And I believe this is only 5 seconds. Uh, 10 seconds will cost me 70 credits. All right, here we are. Yeah, it's pretty good. Again, this is only five seconds. I should have selected 10, but <laughs> I didn't. Uh, only five. So yeah, it looks good. All right, we're going to move on. Okay, now at this point, I want to create a reference. I want to use this character to be my reference for other videos. So, and you have three options. You can select subject you can select face or you can select the full image and then you can play around with your references your face references and your subject references all right so i did save my prompts in a google doc and let's go ahead and create our new image and this is jack walking down the corridor with darts headed straight for him and now we are going to choose the one image that we want and we are going to bring it to life and it'll bring us to this screen now. And let's check out our prompts here, okay? Camera zooms out. All 
All right. And let's generate this. Now this one's gonna cost me 70 credits because it is 10 seconds long. And here we go. Here it is. All right, yeah, those are fiery darts. <laughs> All right, looks pretty good. Looks pretty good, okay. I like this, let's move on though. And let's grab the scene with the phone call. So as you can see, this prompt was created with a phone in Jack's hand, and one is an old phone on the bottom right. And uh, <laughs> uh, so which, you know what? I don't know if I like any of these because he's not really hanging from a vine. And in my prompt, it says hanging from a vine. So it's not exact. So we are going to redo this one. Not bad, but I like the bottom right one. So we are going to bring this one to life. And hang tight because we are going to make Jack talk to his wife. <laughs> We're going to do a lip syncing on this one. And I found really cool music for this video using Suno.ai. Uh, completely copyright free and you own all the rights to the music. So that's why I'm using that. I don't want to get any copyright strikes. So anyway, let's go ahead and create this. Again, this is costing me 70 credits. It's 10 seconds long. All right, so you can see Jack is talking on the phone, um, but the next thing we're gonna have to do is lip sync him. Uh, we're, we're gonna do that after we create all of our scenes though. All right, back to Google Docs. Let's copy and paste this prompt in Kling. And as you can see, I created the four images already with that prompt. And we are going to go ahead and bring our favorite image on the screen to life. All right, we like this one. All right, here we go. Nice. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I think the exposure is a little bit high in this one, but we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna keep this one. All right, it's time to make Emily talk. We're gonna have the conversation happen between Jack and Emily. So in Google Docs, I did save the dialogue. And we're gonna go here and we're gonna make Emily talk right now. So let's go to history and find the video or one of the videos of Emily. It doesn't matter which one because when it lip syncs, it's going to use whatever video you choose. Okay. So let's go ahead and generate that. Hey, babe. How's your little adventure going? Okay, cool. That's good. Okay, let's go back. Hey, babe. How's your little adventure going? <laughs> All right, let's go back. And we are going to find a video of Jack. On the vine, of course. <laughs> On the vine. Take it from someone who's... In my day, <laughs> voice is been there, kid. Oh, there's so... Patience and perseverance are key to success. They're not good playing <laughs> these voices are not good especially compared to um especially compared to programs like 11 labs these are so subpar so if you guys need voice narrations done i i would highly recommend 11 labs i'll leave the link in the description below great program awesome voices cling's voices these are not you know, oh, just you know, just another day. These are not good. Except my office has a collapsing and ceiling, and my co workers are trying to kill me. Oh, you know, just another day at the office, except my office has a collapsing ceiling, and my co workers are trying to kill me. 
<laughs> Not bad. Not bad. Okay, so that one is done. And let's grab this. Uh, Emily's dialogue. Let's come back here. Choose Emily again. All right, let's pop in the dialogue. Uh-huh, do you remember? Did you remember to pay the gas bill? All right, so we used, I believe, Hannah. Yeah, so I think it was Helen. So let's let's go ahead and choose uh -huh. that. Did you remember to pay the gas? All right, we got that one, and let's do the final. Let's do the final dialogue. That's all we're gonna do. We're not gonna do all of these. We're almost done. Hang on, you're gonna see the final product in a in a few minutes. Well, I was going to, but then a thousand year old death trap decided to disagree with my schedule. Call you later, babe. All right, ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, here is the final video. <laughs> I hope you like it. Here we go. Hey, babe, how's your little adventure going? Oh, you know, just another day at the office, except my office has a collapsing ceiling, and my co-workers are trying to kill me. Uh-huh. Did you remember to pay the gas bill? Well, I was going to, but then a thousand-year-old mm -hmm. death trap decided to disagree with my schedule. Call you later, babe. I'll need to go back and make some minor adjustments, but overall, I think it came out okay. So the other AI generator that I would recommend is a program called Syllabi if you want to create quick, fully produced shorts. Syllabi helped me reach 1,000 subs in a very short amount of time. The other program I would recommend is Eleven Labs for premium voiceovers and story narrations. You can even clone your own voice perfectly. Thanks for following, and please remember to like and subscribe for our upcoming demos on top free and discounted AI generation software. See you soon!